Welcome, I'm Alok Zav and in today's video I'm gonna talk about the factory. Where is it and how you can use it in Imperion to be able to bring in ships and bases into the game. So what is the factory? I think I can better explain it in three main aspects. The first one, it's a virtual location. It's not a POI, it's not a physical location, it's something that you can access anytime, anywhere via the logistics menu. The second aspect, it allows you to bypass completely any sort of building. To play Imperion, you don't have to build a single thing. The third aspect, it only requires resources. Each ship or base has a certain recipe and you have to send those resources into the factory to be able to craft that particular ship or base. How to access the factory? It's pretty simple. If you just press tab, it opens up your inventory. Here on top, you'll find the blueprints icon. This is one way to open up the factory. The second way, which is a little bit faster, is just to press F2. You can access the factory anytime, anywhere you are. If you just open it up, you'll notice that you have a big old list right here on the left, and then some information on the right hand side. These are all the ships and bases that come with the game. You don't have to build a single thing, you can play with all of these. And you can filter it by bases, Hover vessels, small vessels, or capital vessels. Let's say I would like to play with a hover vessel and I want this nomad here. It shows up a little picture here on the right hand side and it has some information about this particular ship. It allows me to know when I can actually play with it. I had to reach level 5. It has information about the CPU, but it doesn't say it all. For example, I have no information about the cargo capacity. Here, where it says resources time, it's the actual cost of the ship. So these are the, all the resources that you're going to have to send into the factory to be able to play with this ship. And it's going to take 17 minutes and 5 seconds to have it done. For example, when I start, I usually like to go for a little hover vessel. So usually I go for a very cheap one. So let's say I want to play with this AV4 wheeler, which is one of mine. So what you want to do, I'm currently in the library tab. I'm going to tell it to factory. So now, this ship is actually selected and it is in the factory ready to be built. I just have to edit resources, which are these ones, so that I can actually start production. Another pretty cool feature about the factory is that we can use weapons, ammo, full blocks or simple ingots to send into the factory. The only requirement is that they are actually made out of the resources that the ship takes. For example, if I put these electronics here, they gave me some copper ingots and some silicon. So even though it says carbon, copper, silicon and iron, you don't have to put the actual ingots into it. You can also put resources that were made from those ingots. The resources that you send into the factory are shared between ships. So let's say that I've selected the AV4 wheeler, I send it to factory, but now I realize that I actually want another one. Will I lose these resources that are already sent in the factory? I won't. They stay in the factory. So I can just go into the library and choose a different ship. So let's say now I want to work towards the bus. I'm going to send it into the factory. So now every resource that I put in here are going to contribute to the bus. So let's say I already have a bunch of resources and I would like to send more. For example, this is the AV4 wheeler. This is the recipe of this set ship. But I already have a bunch of resources in this factory. I can't really put any more into this one. It doesn't allow me. You see? It doesn't contribute to the blueprint production. So one thing that we can do is go into the library, choose a bigger ship. That still allows me to put in, for example, the iron and the satium. So this one hasn't reached the limit. So I can use this ship to put in this block. Once you've collected enough resources to build a ship, you can just go into the factory and you can click this button, start production. As you can see, I have all the resources for this particular ship, they're all green. Here below are the things that are in the factory, but are not part of this ship's recipe. That's why they show up here, but they don't contribute to this ship. So you can just click the button, start production. And once it's done, it shows up here on the completed section. So the one that I built is this one. You can select it and then just spawn it in. And there you go. I got myself a nice little half vessel. Not very useful because I do have a capital vessel right there. In retrospect, the factory is a very useful thing. If you're a builder, you can just build in creative mode and bring your 
creations into survival using the factory. If you're not a builder, you can just download anything from the workshop that other players have built, or you can just use the prefabs from the game itself. It's a very useful thing to use from the start of the game all the way to the end game. So thank you for watching and until next time.